game to progress the offensive line. I mean, everybody's back, so you thought you guys would be better. Have, have you gotten to the point where you want to be? Uh, I think in terms of, like, spring ball, yeah. You know, we improved a lot from last year, but I don't think we'll ever be to the point where we're satisfied with our performance. You know, it's a profession and a job where you have to be constantly getting better, and you can't really take a take a day off and, like, relax and say you've you've made it and like you're at the point of well I'm perfect at it that, that you're never going to get to that point so I think there's always room for improvement up front but I think over the 15 practices over spring we definitely got a lot better what about offensively mm -hmm. what's the biggest improvement been? Uh, I think the biggest improvement is just the confidence in the play calling you know you guys saw it today Graham likes to take shots you know he, he's not afraid to hold back and I think we feed off of that. You know, our receivers, Bryce had two back to back plays. I think that were 70 yards, one for a touchdown. You know, we feed off of that. And that's what our offense kind of lacked last year is kind of like confidence in like what we're going to do. So he brought that to the table and we put it on display today. And I think a lot of people are going to have that same opinion. You guys are taking an abundance of shots like that. How does it affect you as an offense? It makes it easier, you know, because they constantly have to be prepared. For a shot play, they can't constantly blitz a linebacker, so they have to check their they have to check their read first, which takes it off of us of them automatically just blitzing. So it gives us it slows it down up front for us a little bit. Another way is it open the field up maybe a little bit. Yeah, more? it opens the field up because we take shots like that, the linebackers are going to back off the ball, safety is going to play deeper, so it opens the box up and we can get really going on inside zone and outside zone. That you guys needed improvement from last year. What what would you str you know really focus on this spring? What were the areas you had to improve? I think the biggest thing was consistency. You know, we had flashes last year. Everybody else said we ran the ball against the teams that we were supposed to, but we really didn't against the teams that we, you know. So I think taking that off the of last year and kind of working with that is we're going to attack every team the same. You know, we we ran the ball well against our defense all spring. And it was a real confidence boost from last year because at times we struggled. But I think through every practice, we had two or three big 50-yard-plus runs. So it'll be nice. Frustrating to have a scrimmage when they're not tackling. It's really frustrating because, you know, you never know. A three-yard run could be a 12-yard Yeah, run. someone doesn't make that tackle, and it's a whole different game. But, you know, we have numbers are limited. We have to do it just to protect ourselves. So we all understand. But it's just frustrating at the time. So you have your game face on, literally, in pregame. You're painted up, and then you spot somebody pretty special in the stands, and you yeah. <laughs> kind of go into that mode. Hey, is it difficult to switch back and forth? Not it's really. A, it's kind of whenever you see them, it's like all your emotions go away, and you just, you're just you back to being a dad and a husband. So no matter what goes on out there, or what appearance I put on my face with my hair and my crazy face paint, I'm still, still a soft dad and soft husband at heart. So. Did your kids get scared by the face paint? I don't think my daughter recognized me today, honestly. <laughs> this is the first time she saw me with like a full full face paint, so it was kind of a shock to her. She kind of just stared at me. James, after all the negativity of last year, what's it like to be reborn each season? You know, it's a new season, and on top of that, with a new offensive coordinator. Do it's nice, but like you got you always got to remember like the things that people said. Like You got to keep your receipts. And that that's something we talk about all the time, you know. It was kind of nerve-wracking today going out there in front of everybody just because, like, everybody gave us such a hard time last year, but we're a different unit, and everybody's going to have different, like, higher standards for us now because everything they heard over the spring. So it was up to us to really perform, and I think we did that, you know. I don't think the starting line gave up a sack all, all the spring games. So it's nice moving forward, but you always kind of remember what people say. Hearing a lot, um, well, we've heard a lot this spring about team camaraderie and gelling. And, and how does that make a team better? And is it improved from what it's been from the time you've been here? Yeah. So I got here in 18, and we really didn't do much as like a team. You know, we had events occasionally, watched the Super Bowl. But ever since Coach Brown got here, he kind of brought in that team family aspect, which I think guys that left didn't really like buy into that all the way. Now we have a locker room full of guys that are 100% in with that. And you know, it just makes it an environment where like you're going to do what you need to do for the guy next to you, for the guy across from you on the other side of the ball. We don't want to let each other down. We're always together. We have such a good chemistry between just from defensive back all the way to running back. It's 
it's a different chemistry and like you don't want to let that guy down you want to do everything you can to just make them make the job easier for them and win the game is it exhausting maybe when you got a guy or two that's complaining or like man, questioning things that are going on is that it is but you know i think a lot of those guys are gone we don't have i honestly don't think we have any so like anytime we have anything it's all just everybody's enjoying being around so all that negativity is kind of gone and i don't think we have there's no concern of like a culture problem or anything.